Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use Infranodo's text network visualization tool to analyze and study customer sentiment so that you can visualize any sort of customer response as a graph, see what are the main topics inside, so what are the customers talking about, also compare positive and negative reviews to see what the people are saying negative things are saying and what the people who are saying positive things are saying. In order to make this demonstration, I'm going to use uh, this new Amazon import app, which we have in Infernodus here. And the first thing that you need to do is to enter the product code or the URL from Amazon. So in this case, I'm going to use the URL for this audio recorder device. And I'm just going to paste it here into the URL of the product. And then I can choose how many reviews I want to get up to 1000. Uh, leave the default categorization, give the name to the graph, or choose an existing one, and then click import. And what happens now is that Infranodus is going to import all the customer reviews for this product on Amazon, and every word in the review is a node in the graph, and every co-occurrence is the connection. Like this, you will be able to see a visualization of the main topics inside, how they relate, what are the gaps? Uh, also, we will use the stars reviews to see uh, which reviews are positive, which reviews are negative. So by default, all the three to one stars reviews are marked as negative and all the four and five stars reviews uh, are positive. So all this allows you to have this very nice representation of data and to see what the customers are talking about when they speak about a certain product. And you can use this on the stuff that you're interested in in general or also if you study um, customer sentiment for any product that you're using. So in this case, um, it will take some time for this to import. I have a, a ready-made graph already for this product here. And I'm just going to demonstrate to you how you can use the graph to analyze this data. So first of all, I like to look at the graph first, see what the people are actually saying. Here we see that they talk about the recorder sound, great quality audio recording. So we have a pretty good picture of the overall sentiment. We can also click on the topical groups in the analytics panel here to see what are the main topics inside. So for example, here it's something about audio recording. When I click on this topic, I only see the reviews on the left that talk about these topics and I can click on any review to see uh, this review on Amazon website. Also something about mic and inputs great sound quality and something about easy and battery. So it looks pretty good. Uh, gives me a general idea of what these reviews are about. Now I can go into this menu and filter the reviews by the positive and negative. So as you can see, each review has a tag here, negative review, positive review. As I said, it's based on the star rating. So by default, Infranodus will tag all the three to one star reviews as negative. So we will see them here and all the four and five star reviews as positive. You can also choose to filter um, by the stars, so then you would have five filter options here. Now I see that when I click positive, I actually basically see the same thing as I saw in the general graph. So I understand that most of the customers, actually 86%, they love this product, uh, but there are 14% of negative reviews and I want to see what it's about. So when I click on negative reviews, I only see the graph for the negative reviews. And I see that, for example, people are talking about sound recording. So let's click on these two nodes and see what are the reviews. So we see here that someone is saying that the sound quality of the recording was not great as my phone recording. So someone was not so happy with the sound recording here. So that could be alarming for me if I want to purchase this product or if I'm developing this product. Let's also click on quality and see it a bit more precisely. So everyone is saying that the build quality is nice, the sound quality is so-so. Okay, so this is interesting because uh, actually this was an important parameter for me and uh, everyone is saying that the product is great but the quality could have been better. So this is one aspect of the negative reviews. Another one is for example here, mic input. Let's see, so people are saying that they have an issue with the mic and inputs uh, and how the mics are actually placed. So there was some specific problem about the usability of the product. 
As you can see, um, through this process, I can discover some really interesting topics. So I don't have to read all the, you know, many reviews that are there, exactly around 300, but to just use the graph to visualize the main ideas and the topics inside. So this is how it would work when I want to study a specific product and the positive and negative sentiment. Another really good feature is that you can actually compare the two categories together. So for example, let's say I want to see what, what people are saying negatively that they're not saying in the positive review. So first I click on that filter, then this button here that shows me the differences, and then on positive reviews. And I see that actually everything they say in the negative reviews, they also say in the positive ones. I can also reverse this process and choose the positive ones first and then compare it to the negative ones. Then I see that, okay, so the people who are saying positive things, they talk about the menu of the product, they like this. They also like the versatile nature of it and that the learning curve, let's look what it is about the learning curve, that a little learning curve. So actually it's easy to learn. So like this, we see what are the specifics of the positive reviews, which is not something we will be able to easily see if we just read all the reviews uh, one by one. So this is how you would, uh, you know, uh, do this analysis for um, one product, but let's say that we want to find how this product compares to another model of the same device, a slightly upgraded one. So here I go on the Amazon site, select this, then go into the Amazon import app, go to the Amazon app here, copy and paste the link, choose that I want to see 1000 reviews, also positive, negative, I can also choose the star rating. Like this, I will have five categories. For more precision, can be more interesting. Sorry, just gonna move this display so you can see it here. That's where you choose how you will categorize the reviews and you have the explainer here. Choose the name of the graph or leave the default one, click import. And then what happens is once again, uh, actually this, this product was not found. So there was some error here. Uh, Actually, what you can do in this case is just find the ASIN number of this product and just use that, you know, just copy and paste it here. Choose the website, Amazon.com. By the way, you can also analyze several international sites, even the Audible sites for audiobooks. And then we choose this, H6, import. And after a while, Infranotus will import all these reviews. So basically what you're going to see is uh, all these reviews that we have here. They will be imported into the graph and visualized. Here I have an, uh, an already prepared one. So let's look at this a little bit closer. As you can see, the same thing. They're saying that it's great. The recording is great and so on. Negative reviews. We have much less, or not much less, but maybe 30% less negative reviews. And they talk again about the recording quality of the product. So let's see what they say. Okay, so this is not so one-sided. There's actually only two reviews now that talk about the recording quality. So that means that it's probably much better than in the first product. And also something about the power cable. Let's see does not include power cable. Okay, this is not a big problem. But if we were the actual company that produces this device, this could be really interesting feedback for us to have as well. So this is how you do this comparison. And you click to see the general graph here. One last thing I wanted to show you is that you can also use this tool to compare different products together. So for example, if I want to see what people are saying about this product that they're not saying about the other one that we analyzed before, I'm on this graph. Then I select this button again. There is an explainer here that says exactly what it does. And then I choose the, the other product, click on the link. And what's gonna happen now is that Infranodus will actually visualize the differences. So what exists in the graph called Zoom uh, H6 that doesn't exist in H5. So what people are saying about this new product that they're not saying about the previous one. And here we see that 
that it's like a self-contained device, battery powered, digital. Okay, interesting. So this review is actually different than the others. By the way, if I click on it, I can read the whole thing. As we see, it's pretty long and it's very specific to this product. So that could be interesting for us if we want to learn more about, you know, how it works. Then also look at other connectivities here. Zoom in to see more. Solid. So someone is saying that it's pretty solid and they're not saying the same thing about the other product. So overall, it looks like this one is much better than the other one. I can also reverse this comparison and ask the system to show me what they say in the other graph that they're not saying in this one. So I just click this button here and it's going to do the same thing in reverse. It's going to compare, you know, what they're saying about this previous product that they're not saying about the new one. Okay, so something about the button stopped. Uh -huh, so the record button stopped working. So it looks like the build quality is not as good. You know, so this is how you would actually go uh, with this sort of analysis, just comparing different products together, seeing, you know, what the sentiment is, using the, the topical groups to analyze uh, what, what the customers are actually saying, and also comparing different products together. Um, also, of course, you could put in any number of products for a specific company and compare the sentiment in between different companies or brands. So this is also something that you can do with this tool. Try it out on infranotice.com with Amazon reviews. And if you feel like adding other sources, let us know if you have any other online platforms that you would like to analyze. If you have your own data, what you can do is go into the apps and use the CSV import uh, app where you can basically get all your data in with the reviews in one column. In the other column, you might have your rating, for instance, and then it's going to do the same thing, same approach as in the Amazon reviews. Check it out on infranotice.com and thank you very much.